Let's take a look at the intermolecular forces for CH3OH. This is methanol. So the first thing we ask in our flow chart here is, do we have any ions present? Since we don't have a negative or a positive up here, we don't have any ions present. So we're going to go to our next question here, and we can just forget about all this. Next, we need to figure out if there are any polar molecules present. So is methanol a polar molecule? Let's take a look at the Lewis structure here. Since it's an asymmetrical molecule and we have this oxygen, which is very electronegative attached to the carbon here, it's probably going to be a polar molecule. Let's take a look at this in three dimensions so we can really see that. So here's our methanol molecule. The black's the carbon, white's are hydrogens, and that oxygen, that's the red. And if we looked at the negative and the positive, let's take a look at the surface of the molecule here. We can see the red, that would be the more electronegative part of the molecule, and the more positive, the blue, near the hydrogen. So this oxygen is more electronegative and we'll have a pole, a negative pole around the oxygen and then around here the hydrogen will have a more positive pole. So methanol is a polar molecule. So yes we have a polar molecule. Then we ask are the hydrogen atoms bonded to a fluorine oxygen or nitrogen? And right here the hydrogen that's bonded to the oxygen. So yes we end up with hydrogen bonding. So methanol, the intermolecular force for methanol, CH3OH, that's going to be hydrogen bonding. But there will also be dipole-dipole forces because it's polar, and all molecules exhibit London dispersion forces. But the strongest force, strongest intermolecular force here for methanol is going to be hydrogen bonding. This is Dr. V, and thanks for watching.